All right, today we're going to be talking about SSL certificates, SSL ciphers and protocols and vulnerabilities, how you can detect those. We're going to be talking about four different tools on how they can be used to detect each of these things. That's right, today we're going to be talking about four tools, not just one. Uh, we will not be going into in-depth detail on each one of these, just a cursory overview as to how you can use it and the kind of output it provides. Uh, in each case, we're going to be scanning the same uh, internet target to, so we can have that baseline there. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to work with is probably the most common tool out there that most people know about, and that is InMap. Uh, so how do you install InMap? That's easy enough. You can do app install InMap or something equivalent to that on your various uh, distro. Most distros will already have it installed on Linux side. Windows, there's downloads as well. So uh, as everybody knows, you have your standard help page with InMap. It's a very long help page. We're not going to be dealing with all of that right now. We're going to be doing one uh, script in there, or actually two scripts that we're going to be looking at. So let's go ahead and so we're going to be using two uh, scripts here, SSL cert and SSL enum ciphers. Uh, the target we're going after is a, just a resource on the internet that has a vulnerable web app for testing purposes out there. So let's go ahead and scan that. Let it run. This will take a moment or two to complete and we'll just let it finish here. All right, there it goes. Uh, you can see there's a lot of output here. So let's scroll back up. First of all, it comes in. You can see it found port 443 open, obviously. Uh, it gives you some information on the certificate. It says it's not valid after 2017. Uh, so yeah, it's well out of date there. August 16th of 2017, way out of date. Uh, just a few other items in there, your certificate, all that. But here we get into some of the interesting findings with the SSL enum ciphers as well. SSL v3 is enabled. Uh, on InMap, it'll give you a scoring of each of the ciphers as to if it's good or bad. And A means it's good. Uh, B, C, D, E, the further down the line you go, the worse they are. As you can see here, this is a 40-bit cipher. Not good, it's an E, uh, so forth. Uh, there's no Bs in that category, but going on down, there's warnings here. It is vulnerable to the Sweet 32 attack. Okay, uh, nothing else uh, I want to call it there. Then you have SSL V, or you have TLS V1. Same thing here, you have A's, D's, E's in there as well. Same sort of thing. Just keep going down. And um, yeah, so that is an uh, end map for you there. You can also output this to the XML file or the GNMAP file. The GNMAP file is not going to contain any of this data. The XML should contain uh, in some form. It may be broken up. It may be formed into XML style tags, but it should be in there. The next tool we're going to be talking about is SSL scan. It's a tool that most of you have probably used or have heard of at least. It's a fairly common one out there uh, for doing SSL style checks for vulnerabilities. Uh, again, app install SSL scan. And I've already got it installed, so no big one there. So SSL scan dash H. Lots of options in here as well. Lots you can tweak with it. You can give it a file, you can give it just the test SSL v2, v3, so forth. Uh, for our purpose, we're just going to be going straight simple with this. And let's go ahead and clear the screen. We're just going to be doing SSL scan space 0.webappsecurity.com. Same uh, web app that we did before. Go ahead and hit enter. And let's take a moment for this to finish up. All right, now that it's finished, uh, a couple things we can call out here quickly. You notice there's a lot of colors on the screen. SSL scan color codes things based on the risk associated with it. Anything that's in white is either informational or not a threat. Anything in green is good. Uh, yellow or orange, depending on how you're seeing that on your screen, is a concern. Uh, it's a warning. You should really take a look at it, try to fix that. Anything in red is just bad. 
So right off the bat down here at the bottom, we can see it's a self-signed cert. The issuer and the subject of the cert are the same. It also calls out the it is not valid after August 16th of 2017. That's in red. And we can jump up to the top up here. And nothing really concerned about there. Yeah, it has crime. Um, as a, a TLS v1.0 is listed as a yellow or an orange there. That's mostly because it is fairly dated at this point and with TLS version 1.3 on the horizon coming out you should really try to migrate up from TLS v1 to v2, v3, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so you have T SSL v3, SSL v2. That's something that we didn't see coming out of the nmap output was SSL v2. I'm not sure why nmap didn't find that but there's another reason why you want to use different tools for these kind of scans if possible. Also, you can see the uh, beds on the keys and everything up here and the bits on the cipher. Um, just all kind of fun stuff in there. So that's a fairly simple one. This can be output to various outputs again. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, well, you can turn off the color if you don't wish to have the color in there. You can output it as an XML file, as an HTTP or HTML file, stuff like that. Lots of other stuff you can do as well. So. Let's go ahead and clear the screen and go on into our third tool. It's one that uh, you may have used, you may have heard of. It's called SSLIs. Um, so there again, it's app install. And I've already got it installed, no problem there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the help page on it. As with all these other ones, they have a ton of options in here. Uh, you can check for heart bleed, you can check for SLV2, V3, all your standard stuff. Um, yeah, you can use the dash dash regular, which is just going to, it's a shortcut for a lot of your standard options, which I would recommend you to use. Uh, is there anything else in here? Note right now, you can give it an XML output file if you want it to output that way. Standard options here, if you want to use it that way. So, let's go ahead and kick this off on our standard test uh, app that we've been going after. Here again, I'm just using the SSLI dash dash regular, which is that shortcut to a lot of those other options. Then the hide rejected ciphers option, so that I'm not really concerned about those. I'm only concerned about the ones that are accepted and what their uh, bits and the cipher uh, suites are and all that. So let's go ahead and run this and give it a second to finish up. All right, uh, one thing you notice is there's no colors in this one, so that's a little different. Uh, so let's jump back up here to the top. It's more like the in-map output in that it is not color-coded, but it does give you a lot of information anyway. Uh, coming down through here, uh, deflate compression, vulnerable, okay. It's uh, vulnerable to session negotiations. Um, let's see down through here. You'll have to pull out that the it's a self-signed certificate there, and it's expired. Your bid on your key size for your certificate is weak. Uh, coming on down, a bunch of other failed items there. What else do we have down here? You can see that SSLV2 is enabled with some very weak ciphers. Uh, SSLV3 is enabled with a lot of weak ciphers as well. V1, TLS V1, so forth. So, same sort of data that's coming out about it. It's just in a different format. Not really much to concern yourself with there, but just a matter of how you want to view it, how you want to receive it. And this is great. Uh, so far, that's three different tools that we can use. So let's go into the fourth tool, and that is one called testssl.sh. Again, just app install, testssl.sh. I've already got it installed, so let's go ahead and run that. There it is. So, very long uh, help page there as well. It's command as test SSL, and you give it some options and the URL that you want to test, or you don't have to give it any options if you don't wish to. Uh, some things you can test with are uh, whether you're doing start TLS, all of the 
all of them seem to have that option. You can um, give it an input file to pull in from there. Uh, what else? Uh, test all vulnerabilities, um, part bleed, and so forth. So that's the dash capital U option or the dash dash vulnerable option. Uh, everything else out there here. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and like I said, tons of outputs as well, CVS, HTML, yeah. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. Let's do test SSL. Okay, let this run and then we will just wait for it to finish. All right. So one of the things we saw out here quickly is that it is color coded again. Green appears to be good. Uh, yellow and orange seems to be possible warnings. So these are some of the ciphers for TL SSL v3 and TLS1 that are possibly uh, if questioned. And down here it says uh, potentially vulnerable. So potentially okay, but anything that is vulnerable is in red again. Uh, you can see that it has all your uh, renegotiation, it has Poodle, it has Freak and Drown, a bunch of those findings as well, Log Jam. Yeah, so very good, very good. So with all that taken care of now, that is uh, four different ways that you can take a look at SSL vulnerabilities on your web applications, on your websites. Uh, you can do that with, as we said, nmap, SSL scan, SSL eyes, or test SSL.sh. There are many other tools out there as well. There's even a large number of online web uh, apps that will do this for you as well. Thank you very much for your time today. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment field below. Uh, if you enjoy these uh, tool demos, please hit the like button and the subscribe button below so that you can be kept aware of any of the latest uh, tool demos that come out. And with that, thank you and have a great day.